The content of this build video was possible thanks to early access from EA. Hello and welcome to another build video with Fremland and this video is a little bit different from normal. I have early access to Jungle Adventure and for the last couple of days I've been building and making uh, episodes of my Let's Play An Angel and an Alien and uh, now I have just a final opportunity to do a little bit more video. This is basically going to be like a live stream, it's going to be kind of unedited. What I'm going to do is show you just a, a little short preview of a starter home that I made just a couple of days ago. It was the first thing I built just to get a kind of feel for the things that uh, came along with the game pack. And I, I really love the stuff, by the way, absolutely genuine feeling about it. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I got the early access, but they didn't tell me I had to be positive. That I choose to be positive because, if, if, you know, people who know me know that I am just a genuine guy and I, I wouldn't lie to you. I'm really enjoying this game pack and uh, yeah, I hope that you will too. After I've shown you a little showcase of the starter home that I've built, I'll then continue a build that I've been doing. It's a family home and what I'll do is uh, I'm going to do it just in real time like a stream but it will be in a video <laughs> so uh, you know it won't be a stream it will be <laughs> like a like a build video not a speed build just not sped up basically and you'll see me and I'll talk to you just like normal. Anyway I hope you enjoy my little uh, starter home Linda Cabana I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. So if my translation is correct, Linda Cabana means cute cottage. And that is basically what I wanted this to be. It's not like uh, some massive architecturally artistic creation. It's a budget build. It's only just under 18,500 simoleons. And it's really intended for either a cabin to stay in on your vacation if you're really you know don't have very much money or you can use it as a starter home as well so yeah it's a uh, just a little fun cottage basically and uh, I really enjoyed making it and it gave me a little kind of uh, introduction to the stuff that came with the pack and you'll see some of that here uh, a whole lot of new things and yeah, lots of colour and uh, lots of stucco on the walls, lots of concrete and uh, wood as well. And then interesting kind of South American inspired patterns, lots of llamas and stuff like that. This is a little overview from above, very simple layout as you can see. I know it's a very small little build and it's very uh, restricted budget and that's something I really love doing as a builder. I just love restrictions. So yeah, I love, you probably already know this, but I love building with just a couple of packs in the base game, maybe just one pack, sometimes two. Uh, you can see in my um, channel trailer if you're interested in a little bit more explanation about my builds. Uh, but yeah, so this build and uh, the starter home are both restricted pack builds, but only the starter home is a restricted budget build. It's uh, 18,500 simoleons, which is, as you know, quite a restriction. It doesn't have to be that uh, restricted. Uh, I can build a starter for 22,000, I think it is, uh, for two people. That's if you make two people, the game gives you 22,000. Uh, you've got to save a bit for the lot. Okay, so this is Via Familia, <laughs> and yeah, it's very plain uh, Spanish. It's just that just means like a family villa, family home, something like that. And uh, I haven't followed any kind of style guides or references. I've just kind of built basically something that I thought looked a bit like Spanish colonial, uh, you know. So don't uh, criticize me too harshly. And yeah, sorry about the camera moves, there's not much I can do about that. It's a live presentation, basically, but not live. <laughs> it's about all I can do uh, with the time left uh, before the deadline, anyway. So yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, four bedroom place. 
but let's go inside and have a look so in the front door here that's the front door in case it's not obvious you have like a hallway and I think that's pretty much done um, yeah I don't decorate very much in my builds oh no I need to put a new light there then we have like a, a lounge and yes it is tiled uh, a lot of these places are I've stayed in uh, similar kind of places before uh, it doesn't have to be tiled it could be wooden floored instead uh, but I thought it would be a nice touch to leave it tiled so yeah this is like a lounge and there's a bar and there is a TV uh, quite a nice TV because I, I thought it's a family home so why not I haven't put I need to put a bit more decoration on that table you know although I don't like much decoration I do like some <laughs> I'm still building over here I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be enough of a gap between those uh, what you call it shelves <laughs> and the bar so I might have to move that a bit and there's something going there probably a bookcase sounds like a good idea then down here I've got like a small bathroom at the moment it's a small toilet only but I've had this great idea well uh, please forgive me <laughs> I'm just I'm kind of mocking myself at the same time as kind of congratulating myself I have a hard time being nice to myself about my builds just so you know um, but yeah I've got this gap at the back of the stairs so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick the toilet in there and put a door into it and then I'm probably, probably going to put uh, a shower in here just so there's a bit more going on anyway let's go back into the hall and there's a door going from there out here and I'll show you that in a sec but in here there's a kitchen and I've got to say I really like my kitchen but uh, as I just realized uh, uh, before uh, there isn't actually uh, a sink in here <laughs> so I've got to add one in and I'm just gonna just think I'm gonna do that I think what I'll do is I'll stick that over here stick that over here I'm gonna move the dishwasher to over here instead it's probably gonna be a bit more accessible there especially if you're eating outside and the reason I'm doing it this way is because uh, there's a bit of a gap on the wall here that I can use to stick in a freestanding uh, basin wash basin that came along with the pack so hang on let me find it I uh, there's that one you see but it's not the one I'm looking for it's this one it's the one I'm looking for hoping they're gonna have the right colors I think that's right uh, slightly different browns there okay so it's not that one <laughs> It's funny seeing it like a normal build, isn't it? Instead of like a speed build. Uh, you kind of have to suffer with me and I can't edit this out. So sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. Now, do I have enough counter space? Well, you need at least one. Uh, I like having at least two personally. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that one over here because that means there's two definitely that you can use. Uh, would be nice to have more decoration over there, but oh well. Uh, the microwave, microwave also isn't necessary, but I'm going to leave it there anyway. By the way, I am converting, I'm kind of exporting a video of uh, my Let's Play at the moment. So there might be a bit of choppiness in this video. And I'm really sorry if there is, but there's nothing I could do to avoid it. I don't have extra computers. I'm not like a super big YouTuber that can just record away while another computer exports out um, an edited video. No, I don't. I don't have that ability. Um, but yeah, so that's the kitchen, and you know, it's relatively straightforward. I think it's got everything you need. I haven't got to the playtesting kind of stage yet, and to be honest, I'm, I am a, I'm really into playtesting, and I playtest hard. Uh, because I used to work as a game designer, I, uh, I know how to playtest, I know that you have to really push things hard, and uh, I playtest all my builds but I'm not sure that I'm going to fully be able to play test this one. But luckily, you know, after you've been building for a while, you've just got a, a general idea of what works and what doesn't. I mean, that's why I know that you have to leave some counter space. That's why I know uh, that, uh, you know, there has to be a gap there because I, I could have placed it over there, but then it would, it would kind of overlap with that. I don't know, just 
I don't know what I'm talking about now. I'm going to move on. I would edit this bit out, but uh, you know, it's kind of like a stream thing. So this is the outdoor area. Cool, huh? I love this. I just, I really love it actually. I mean, and everyone who, who normally watches me knows that I don't usually like saying this kind of stuff. But whoa, look at this. Little pool, little kind of eating area. And I was just working on this just as I left. There should probably be a nicer barbecue there, but this is the one that came with the pack, so I thought I'd use that. And the same with this table. Uh, I think there probably should be a nicer table there. I might still place one there. Um, let me think about it. We shall see. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Right, so yeah, over here we've got a, a pool, and it's a pretty small pool, but it's, it's uh, functional, it's not too small. Uh, Sims can do laps in it, but they're very small laps. But uh, not as small as the little pool that you'll see in uh, the Royal the Omiskan Royal Baths here in Salvadorada. So, uh, here I am in the kids' room. <laughs> and there's only two kids' beds here, but I think that's enough. And if you really want, you can place some more. I haven't put any decoration on the wall yet, uh, so don't judge me too much. I'm not going to put much there, though, anyway. I'm probably going to stick just the painting over here. Let's do it now. <laughs> um, let's, there isn't any decent paintings in the pack, uh, in, in the Jungle Adventure game pack, but there are decent wall hangings, and there's lots of them. So I'm not judging it on that. You know, other packs have loads of uh, wall hangings. See that? So what I'm going to do is, because it's a restricted pack build, I have to use base game, and I'm going to look at that and... Uh, I'm going to choose these guys because I know that they have oranges and uh, you know, orange color. So I'm going to go for a bit of orange. Um, I'm really curious. Tell me in the comments what do you think about watching a build rather than a speed build? Because this is apparently really normal for uh, German simmers. I was looking for, I thought it was like a yellow option, but there isn't. Oh well. <laughs> So I'm going to go with just these oranges and let me split up those greys uh, because they're a bit boring on their own together like that. And I am using Alt to free place them. And they're not very well placed just because I'm in a slight rush. Well, not, not too much of a rush. I've got uh, about 30 minutes left on exporting this video. I've had a bit of a problem with the first episode of... Uh, my let's play in Salva Dorada uh, because there's a bit of static at the start and uh, to be honest I might have to just go with the version that has the static on it because I've tried exporting it a couple of times now and uh, I can't get rid of the static and I've tried a few things if I had longer I would I would be able to get rid of it eventually but I don't uh, so I'm just gonna add a cool la la light <laughs> I think we'll go with red because it's the best color I think for this room. Uh, because you know, kids need the cool la la lights to get away, take away, to scare away the under the bed monster thingy. I have suddenly lost the ability to talk properly anyway. So we've got a bit more wall detail. It's not quite centered, but I think it's going to do. Um, I'm going to add in a little, you don't need this really in the kids room. Uh, but I'm going to add in a little rubbish bin. Just basically, the reason I thought of doing that, just in case you're interested, is just to fill that corner. Because it's a bit boring at the moment. So yeah, uh, pretty much all they need when they're not out adventuring. I don't know if you really want to take your kids adventuring. Because you know, guys, it's really dangerous. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, it's up to you. It's your choice. Maybe you like uh, Sims to be in danger. Personally, I get a bit stressed out by it. I actually do. I really do. Um, so yeah, kids room I think is looking fine. Let me just check those lights. Uh, yeah, they're pretty centered. It's going to be fine. And next to that is a rather large upstairs bathroom. We've got a bath, a shower, a toilet, and a couple of sinks. I don't usually do two sinks. I know a lot of people do. But it just seemed like a good spot to put two, so I put two. Because um, why not? There's a little bit of a weird gap over there, but I filled it with uh, some decoration. And these windows are kind of like open windows that are all, you know, they're open all the time. They're basically gaps in the wall, holes in the wall, whatever you want to call them. 
and uh, I put a couple of blinds in front of those because you know just I don't like the idea of it being completely open and also bathrooms always a good idea if there's some kind of curtains in bathrooms I don't put curtains in many of my builds uh -huh. as you can see here so this is a toddler room and uh, it also has a couple of cots I don't know if you could take your babies on holiday <laughs> I hope you can but if you can uh, there's a spot for them here uh, I think I'm gonna stick something in there between them I'm thinking should I do some kind of bedside table or should I do a chair I think there's some chairs that came with the pack that I haven't used yet so let me just add the filter in And it's a kind of a green room, but that green is a bit blue. I'll show you what I mean. Doesn't quite match. It's it's got too much blue in the tones. Yellow might work because of the orange on the bed, but mm, I'm not sure. Sorry, my tummy just rumbled. <laughs> I haven't had any food yet. Orange, I think, is the winner. Uh, there is a few other colours. Blue. I don't want to introduce that blue. The orange is the winner, even though the colour doesn't the color of the wood doesn't match but that's a common problem in the sims so maybe the yellow would be better but you know in the real world it's really hard to get colors that match and you have to be kind of obsessive really to perfectionist kind of thing if you want to get them to match i think should we go with the yellow let's do it uh, let's just have a quick look at the other bed options here. Okay, sometimes my UI is a bit unresponsive. Um, no, I don't want to change it from green. I've already chosen green and uh, it's fine. And that wood doesn't match, but you know, in the real world, things don't always match. There isn't much of, uh, much lighting in here. Well, there is. It's enough. It's enough. Just wall lamps I've forgotten about them for a second they're not wall lamps they're floor lamps anyway so we have a <laughs> moving on we have a potty down here which is great and hallway absolutely no lighting so let's fix that now love these rustic chandeliers that came with the game pack um, just thinking how best to do this I'm thinking like do one here grid on sorry if you don't like the grid but OCD people like me obsessive compulsive people like me need the, the grid so that we get things perfectly aligned um, like, actually I'll, I'll stick it there and I'll stick this one there as well I wasn't sure there's was going to be enough light in this corner but there is it's fine um, also there isn't anything going on in this room is that too many lights I'm not sure you know what? I'm just going to leave it. If you think there's too many, you can take them out. What can we put on these walls? How about we do some of these wall hangings um, that we've got so many of in this pack? And I'm thinking something like not the arrowhead one. I've had bad experiences with arrowheads. Yeah, leaves glue. So yeah, leaves glue. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking my export. It looked like it had paused or something. Is that really the best place for it? Well, maybe not. Let's um, move it. The reason I want to move it is because that might be a good spot to put some furniture. And I'm sure there's some furniture that I'm not using from the pack yet. Oops. So, there we go. I'll leave it there and uh, show all. Bar caddy. That's going to be a good thing for downstairs. So yeah, no bookcase, but uh, bar caddy looks good. And what's the wood colours in this room? It's like light, not too grey. So yeah, the lighting, by the way, of my face will change because the sun's coming up outside. So uh, yeah, sorry about that, but it's just the way it is. How about I add in an archaeology table as well? Put that over there. Be 
because archaeology. No, it's not going to fit. Um, but what we, oh, I was going to say, what we do need is a stereo, but we've got one there. Um, I'm going to actually move that, I think, because I really want to add an archaeology table now that I've thought about it. I'm gonna move um, the guitar as well. Yeah, I don't use move objects cheap. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's just the way I build. <laughs> if you don't like it, well, <laughs> I I don't know. I've been a bit more relaxed about it recently. I might one day use it, but at the moment I don't use it. So, so yeah, that's just the way it is. Um, because that bar caddy thingy doesn't actually have any use, I'm gonna stick that there. I think. Can we stick anything on the bar caddy? I don't know. Let me just try a little small plant first. No. Let's go into see if you had move objects sheet, you could stick stuff on there, but you know, to be honest, I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, okay, so you can stick uh, that on there. So let's go with the probably going to be some better stuff that we can add actually but uh, start with something we know works because um, I've got I want to move on I've got a lot to do today while I still have uh, early access it's too big again sorry if you hear me uh, my tummy rumbling I think it's really rude and I would remove it, but I can't, you know, this is like a, kind of like a live stream, remember? And how do we feel about having this kitchen stuff there? I'm not sure I like it. Let's take that out, actually. Put another shelf over there. I'm going to leave the gap there and just hope that it's enough. If it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, you can fix it up later. So yeah, this is not my normal kind of uh, thing to do. I usually would remove something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would play test it, sorry. But uh, don't really have the time. So that kind of nicely fits there. Uh, it doesn't, mm, doesn't quite match up with the windows, but you know, I don't really care. That should be fine. I mean, I do care. It's just, it's not a big deal. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying I don't care, I absolutely care. Let's take it back over there. Um, and maybe we can stick, I know there's already some plants there, but I'm thinking let's stick another plant in. Because, because plant, I know what I want to use. I want to use, uh, a vase that I've seen. Let me just filter it. So, basically, uh, I'm going to stop this very soon once my uh, uh, episode exports. I'm going to check it and hopefully upload it. And so that's going to be all ready for you, hopefully. Uh, and I'll continue with this and I'll get this up as soon as I can. And basically the build that is associated with this, I'll also upload uh, ASAP. As soon as it's ready so that's my basic plan for today and yeah i also have to do i don't have to i choose to do some uh, episodes for my vampire vet let's play because uh, i said that i would i did like a, a poll on twitter um and i said that i would do um some episodes of my let's play vampire vet so I will do that as well but after this because I, yeah, I really want to get build up as well I don't want it to be just let's play content I'm, what I'm looking for at the moment is this I thought I'd used a small door already but I haven't so I'm gonna uh, I'm sure I did I'm sure I did where is it no I'm thinking yeah I'm thinking of the the starter home that I made so I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna choose uh, a new door let me just make sure that I'm using base game only. Um, which one shall I go for? I think I'm just going to go for a plain one. 
because plain door, you know, uh, maybe brown. Yeah. Okay. And I need to grab. I don't need it. Sims don't need toilet paper, but I'm gonna, I'm going to choose to grab toilet paper uh, holder and put this. Uh, this is a bit difficult. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, that's fine. It's a bit dark in there though. Let's actually maybe we can grab one of these. It might be a bit too light then, but uh, I'd rather too light than too dark. Okay, that's fine. That room is fine. From a move on. So now I'm going to stick in, so I could stick a bath in here, I am very tempted, but uh, if you know me, you know that I like privacy, and so what I'm going to do is, uh, privacy in my bathroom, I mean, and also real life, <laughs> um, I'm going to stick some tiles in there, I'm going to grab uh, a shower from their ensuite, I'm going to grab that light there. Why? Because I just think you need a bit of lighting while you're showering, you know, so you don't... I was going to say drop the soap by mistake. <laughs> so appropriate. Anyway, um, that's way too much, but I kind of like it actually because I like the lighting and I just don't want to get too fussy with it because I need to move on. Would be nice to stick something down there, but I'm going to leave it. Now, what happened to that vase I was going to place? Uh, that was going to be there, wasn't it? It's so easy to be distracted. The thing is that I've, I've had very little sleep. I went to sleep late for me and uh, just after one o'clock at night, and I woke up early for me at 5.30. Um, so the cool thing is that I naturally woke up. I mean, I didn't force myself. I just kind of woke up, and instead of going back to, to sleep like I would normally, I just decided, right, you got to get up and you got to start working, <laughs> you know, because, you know, you don't want this opportunity to run out. See, I'm really sorry if you're offended by me having sips of coffee <laughs> while I'm doing this, but hey, that's just the way it is. Is there any? No, there's none. Okay. I'm basically talking to myself now. Neighbors used to it. Well, I don't know if they are, actually. <laughs> I think they'll ever be used to it. Uh, anyway, looking for other small things that I can place. Sometimes, for some reason, there aren't always the small things you need. Ah, I've just had this great idea. Well, <laughs> I don't know if it's a great idea, but I'm going to stick it in anyway. And um, that is to put in some of these uh, pots that are hold, uh, hung up. I think it would just suit this kitchen. I don't stick them in every kitchen, only a few. Something like the uh, bronze. Okay, that's way too. It's not low enough. This is going to be a bit like uh, Goldilocks, isn't it? This one's a bit small, but it's a bit more like what I'm looking for. Yeah, definitely Goldilocks moment. This one's. Is it just right? I hope so. Hmm, I think it is. Actually, I'm going to center it, and I'm just going to hope that you can still use the coffee machine and uh, the chair. I'm starting to think about moving it. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that. I'm preemptively moving that coffee machine, even though I quite like it there. It's probably fine, you know, but I'm moving it because I don't want there to be... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. So that would use up too much counter space. Move it back to where it was. I'm just going to deal with it. If that's in the way, I'm really sorry. Let's move on. Okay, so have we got a fire alarm? Yes, we do. We don't have uh, the bigger fire alarm. We've got spaces to put it, so why not stick it in? I think probably somewhere like... Oh, look. Clipping over there. I'd like it somewhere hidden. I'm not sticking all the way over there because I was thinking of sticking something else there, some other furniture. Now let's see if I can move that tree. I can. Is that doing any obvious clipping? No. And yes, but it looks kind of cool-ish. Looks like it's, you know, growing through the fence. 
Yeah, well, my uh, the export is taking a lot longer than usual. It's because of this, because I'm recording at the same time. But I kind of I need to. I, I really want to get some build stuff up as well. All right. This is not what I want to do. I want to go to show all. green room it's kind of tealy green let's go with that one just to fill a space I want to add a bookcase in I know this is a bit kind of see in the speed build I would try and do room by room because this is a just a speed build I can be a bit more kind of freeform with it I reckon that's my feeling on the subject so <laughs> I hope you don't mind but uh, I think it's fine personally. The colors of this room are lighter brown, white would be bad, black probably too dark, that brown is a bit too dark but I think it's okay. Is that the right bookcase? Probably not. Don't want to add in. Okay this is unlocked by the career management but uh, career management you know it's unlocked by something like uh, I can't see it now actually as you can see mm, but anyway it's the inappropriate one <laughs> it's the inappropriate one <laughs> I say the most stupidest thing sometimes while I'm talking to myself this is a bit too small this, this one is kind of shouting to me yeah look at that colors look at those colors so I'm gonna stick that there and I'm gonna put a little chair next to it probably the same chair uh, that I used before because why not uh, well possibly why not because there's no colors that match there's none of that kind of uh, orangey brown that's in the, that room already so uh, I'm not going to use that let me just filter by color it might help orange I want brown I've got orange on the brain uh, is it light brown not really got this the stuff from some packs that I'd like to use but you know I don't use that anyway did stick base game as well this is calling to me go for that actually is there a, like a tealy green that's not the right green is it no it probably doesn't really matter for England, but uh, I would like to I'm gonna go with that one that's there right what else can we stick in here I'm thinking something like family photos or something on the wall there. So as you walk up the stairs, you see family photos. Sounds good to me. Let's get rid of that dark brown filter. We don't need that. Okay. How do they look sized up? Uh, nope. <laughs> Does not go with that. It had funny shadows. How about we stick that over here instead? Yes, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, and uh, what else? Do we need anything there? Can we cope with that? I felt like putting a window there, but I, I have tried it and it was hard to line it up properly. This, this is so good, I've got to say. <laughs> it's just perfect for this kind of style, in my opinion. Yes, it's my opinion. When I speak, generally I'm speaking with my opinion. Just, you know, kind of catch all. Um, how about something like this as well? I like. Too big. Okay. I want to put that somewhere though. Oh, I'm already using those uh, paintings. Somewhere. How about this room? Yes. Yes. This dark room. Let's stick it in here. <laughs> and we use free place. I could probably do a little couch here as well. There are some cu couches that came with the pack. So let's have a look at that. It's 
blue room. Gray might work. That might work white. But weird. I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> it might work, it might not, but it's gonna go in there anyway. Here we go. And we need light. And I'm gonna use this light again because it's the one that came with the game pack. And I like reusing uh, stuff wide. Not reusing, I like using stuff from the game, the pack that I'm kind of showcasing. <sighs> Shall we stick another window there? The thing is, I couldn't get it very well centered. There is one below it though that's not centered, so in a way it's forgivable that it's not centered. But then it's not centered with the bed, which looks weird. You see what I mean? Uh, <laughs> things that annoy me. But we can go with something like this instead, maybe? It's not going to work against the one below, is it? No. In my opinion. Um, how about a little hatch? Actually, I think that's fine. That's fine. In my opinion. <laughs> do we have enough stuff out here for a barbecue? Yes, we do. We what we've got. Should we make it a bigger table now? I'm going to leave it. It's fine. I'm going to leave it. I think that area is done. We need something here. Silly moment, because I haven't completely woken up yet or something. I'm or I'm sleep deprived. That's my excuse for today. <laughs> um, what have we got here? Kitchen with shelf, bathroom cabinet, hallway table. Okay, that looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it looks great. And I'm thinking glyph. I don't know if we can put a mirror above it. No, we can't. Let's go with the glyph. And how about not the poison glyph? <laughs> Bad experiences. Uh, food glyph sounds good. Let's go with that. Rising it just a bit so you can still stick things on there. If you have uh, things on the wall too close to a surface, Sims won't put stuff on that surface. You probably know that already, but I'm just pointing it out. Need some outdoor lighting as well. Um, well, some lighting, it doesn't have to be outdoor. I'm thinking, will it go on there? No, it won't. It could be because that's there. It could be because the shelf, excuse me, can't take it. Um, but um, I'm not going to muck around with trying to figure out what the problem is because I don't have very much time. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, maybe nice to have something there. I'm thinking a pot. Because pot. Right, there we go. This is the. <laughs> I haven't even show you it. This is the main bedroom. And yeah, I wasn't sure what I was doing over in the corner. I'm not sure if that's really the best use of the space. But I also like that they've got this kind of... They can see each other while they're reading. There isn't much decoration in this room. But I don't think it's too bad. Maybe something over here. I can bring that over a little bit. So yeah, that's... Turn on base game filter. It's not the same as the one we already used, is it? I don't think so. 
Oh, it's got a nice red ring around it, which I would usually be annoyed by, but it, it, it suits this room. And that's the thing, that's why I don't like getting too annoyed by things, because, you know, when things don't match, colours don't match, because there is sometimes great uh, situations like this where things do match, and it can be a rare opportunity, but when you find it, it's like, whoa, that's cool. Well, I think that's a whoa cool moment anyway. And, uh, yeah, anyway, let's move on, because I don't like kind of stroking my ego. But I'm trying to I'm trying to do it more often, basically, because uh, it's very easy to get down if you don't. And I have been down, just so you know. But I'm I'm picking myself back up. Um, I have to stick back in the corner just for a bit of decoration. They have a love seat, so they can also interact there. The lighting is not quite centered, but I think it's probably okay. Let's, let's center it because of OCD. It's fine, fine from them. Okay, main bedroom fine, hallway mostly fine, um, outdoor area mostly fine. Uh, I wanted to add in a few more plants over here though. I did start doing it yesterday, but uh, ran out of time, had to do something else. Yeah, no move objects, remember, so I have to kind of see where it fits, which I kind of find fun. I find it very oddly, very relaxing. Um, to find good fits. What else can we use outside? A Swiss cheese plant. <laughs> so funny. I don't know if, oh, the thing is, when you size it down, it still uses the footprint of the of when it's big. So it's annoying. Maxis, hey, if you could please change the footprint of plants when you size them down, that would be really cool. You're probably not watching this. But uh, you never know. And I just need to do. Oops, I always press escape a bit too much. Um, I also just need to quickly add some terrain paint. A little bit smaller, a little bit softer. And I actually don't want that one. I want this one because it's a little bit more suited. I think. This is a rough painting job. It's not as good as my normal painting, just so you know. <laughs> I'm usually much better than this. Um, but I really just want to get it done. There's a couple minutes left on my export, so I'll be disappearing in a sec. To check on that. So yeah, even when this is finished and you, you're watching this already, the, the build might not be up on the gallery yet because I might just be doing a few extra last minute kind of fixes to it. But uh, it will be up sometime today, so don't worry about that. Outside area is fine. There's no... Uh, I think it's, it's supposed to be like a, a cabin. So it doesn't need, uh, what do you call it, uh, mailbox, but I'm going to stick one in anyway, and I think maybe over there looks good. Nope, let's go like that. Does it have an outdoor rubbish bin? I don't think it does. That's another thing I'm going to add, stick it down here because it's like kind of away from everything. That is not intersecting very well with that plant and its massive footprint. It's fine, how about we try and hide it a bit. little hidden. Okay, so I think it's mostly done to be honest, but we'll have a quick check over it. Um, we've still got a minute left of the exporting. It's taking a, its sweet time. Oh, outside chairs would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice to add some outside chairs? There we go. Outdoor lighting would be nice upstairs for a moment. 
next to one over here as well. And the same kind of thing. Not the wall. We want the chair. Right. So this outdoor area I think is done. There probably is more I could do with it, but oh well. This bedroom I think is done. Lots of space for you to hang photos up and stuff if you want. Hallway, I think there's there's more I could do here. In fact, there was one thing I had in mind that I wanted to do, so I'm going to stick that in quickly um, before I forget about it. Now I'm going to not be able to find it. As per usual, you can't actually find the thing you're looking for. It's like a clock thing. It's not a clock thing. It's when I find it, you'll be like, why did you call it a clock thing? This thing. <laughs> With uh, plates. That's the one. Plates. These are plates from a... Look at that. Yes. Yes, yes. Let's enter it. Okay. That's enough for the hall. Kids room, fine. Bathroom, fine. Kids room fine, spare room fine, we know that already. This is fine. This room is probably fine. I need something on the table. Whoops. Katrina. Why am I using the Katrina doll? Well, because it has this kind of, I think it has this kind of uh, a suitable kind of feel to it. <laughs> Hang on, are they all? I thought, yeah, don't worry. So it's going there. Uh, I'm not really explaining myself well here, am I? Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm just kind of trying to get it finished now. But yeah, I just think it, it suits it because it's got the South American kind of vibe as well. I know South America is a very vast, big place, and so when I'm saying it's got a South American vibe, it's like a very general reference. I mean no insult to uh, people of South American origin. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know exactly what, what vibe it has. Maybe you would say it was more Caribbean or specific to one country, I don't know. Maybe we can put some books in over here. Nope. Because, yeah, without move objects, I can't actually place it too well. Picture of a pair. Well, you never know when you need a picture of a pair. No, I've got the picture of the pair. <laughs> I don't know why I've got a picture of a pair. I wonder if the picture of the pair would be better in here. I don't think it's really good anywhere, perhaps. Let's try and get the picture of the pair somewhere. There, let's, let's take the picture of the pair there. Okay, <laughs> and I'm going to stick one thing up there, just in case. Uh, I've already got one over there, so I'm going to remove. Um, color books am I using over there? Yellow and blue, let's go with these ones. Just so it looks like uh, I haven't completely forgotten the area. Oh, picture of an apple. What, you can't use the bottom shelves? That sucks. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, that kind of sucks. But <laughs> it's still a lovely shelf. Look, you can, I can feel all the blood rushing to my head. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what have I just said? But yeah, it just slightly sucks, but no big deal, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so, you know, I think that's it. And, oh, <laughs> not quite, not quite, Brimlin. You're going to get sick of this light, but I think it's kind of good to, to use it a lot in a pack that's uh, supposed to be focused on... Uh, you know, build that's supposed to be focused on this pack. So anyway, I'm going to use this outdoor light in here because I just want a little bit more lighting in there. A little bit dark on the stairs front, but I think that's fine. 
Right. So I'm not going to do a, uh, like a showcase preview of this uh, like I did for the starter home. I don't have enough time, I don't think. So here it is, complete. And it will be up on the gallery soon. And I've got to say the the image you see when you look down on it from the map is roughly like this. And it's, I, it's a really attractive look. Um, I'm really pleased with it. So yeah. I don't know, I'm patting myself on the back, but oh well, I have to because I need to I need to improve my mood. I don't want to always be down on myself all the time. Believe me, I'm very critical of myself and uh, you know, it doesn't help my mood at all. Uh, not completely happy with these lights, but I'm going to leave them anyway. So actually, I didn't leave those lights and I replaced them uh, with smaller ones. And yeah, this is the finished product and I'm just about to upload it to the gallery. And here it is from behind. And here's the patio out the back, perfect for late night meals or perhaps a relaxing swim. Really like that view. I love Salvadorada, I really do. And the kids' room, the hallway, the toddler bedroom or baby's nursery. The bathroom, or some of it, <laughs> it's an awkward space, often are in bathrooms. And the spare bedroom, or the mother-in-law bedroom, or something like that. The kitchen, quite like that, I've got to say. Uh, the lounge, with the archaeology table and the rather large TV. The master bedroom, kind of luxury. And here it is again from the outside. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Maxis and EA for the early access. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you'll come back for another video. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.